first. Okay, or... Wesley. So I think the people want to know what are the things that they teach you mm -hmm. in your senior year in design. They expect us to know like a lot of things, and I feel like we've been. out there crazy dude it never rains in california and now it's like super pouring all right guys slightly different video today i'm at cal state long beach so i was invited to give a small lecture uh, it's for a senior class during our senior class we we're supposed to create a product and then go through the whole kickstarter process you got to have a business plan you got to design a product you got to build a website and of course you got to make a video so of course, I am the video guy. I have a small presentation to give them on how to create videos, how to create product videos specifically. So I've done this a couple times already. I did it two years ago. Uh, I was invited last year, but I couldn't do it. I didn't have enough PTO, pay time off. It's so good to just give back to the community again, give back to my school that I've learned a lot from. DJI oh. Osmo. Oh. It's kind of like a Go <laughs> GoPro kind of thing. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Congratulations <laughs> <laughs> you get out of that. It looks like cool. a little robot. Or I know, right? it's fun. <laughs> Basically, everybody has to present the script of what they want to uh, uh, produce the video. And we only mm -hmm. are two weeks away from the final. So you know how that is. For sure, yeah. <laughs> So it's another day. I didn't really end that video when I was presenting for that class. It's been a couple days now. I think I presented like last week. But anyways, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. And right now, I'm actually going to go back to Cal State and Long Beach because there is a show, a senior show. So there's two senior classes at Cal State and Long Beach. And the one that I presented in just what you just saw, that's one of the classes. And then the other class is going to be the show that I'm going to be taking you guys in a bit here. And so it's going to be the very first semester of their senior year. One of my buddies, he's an intern at where I work and so he's actually a senior currently at Cal State Long Beach so I'm gonna go show you guys around show you guys some of the work and uh see if I can find him and you know just have a little fun talk and stuff like that so let's just go ahead and roll on over to Cal State Long Beach right, I don't know what room it's in system that's awesome orbit vertical rotating storage system pretty nice all right delaney give the pitch please Whoa, that's a tiny camera. <laughs> Are you vlogging? Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. I design a trash can for compact living situations because I think that's kind of where the housing market's going. You know, like a lot more apartments and high rises. Trash is a huge issue. And that they have little tiny kitchens with little tiny trash cans and they fill up and they have to take them out like every day because they're filling up so often. At night, like say so you get home and your trash is full and you still need to use it, you don't want to take it all the way out to the alley. And so what they'll do is they'll take the bag and put it next to the can, but then you just have trash sitting in your house, it can smell, it can leak. What my trash can does is it has these custom liners that have a one-way valve on them. And the valve will slot in here, 
And this is a vacuum sealing chamber in the middle. Um, so it'll tap and slide in and then you stretch the liner over it the lip around the inside. And it'll vacuum seal it once you're done. And so this is 3D printed and then this is um, an aluminum rod okay. that I put on the metal lathe and I added like a chamfer. There's a ball bearing inside, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so that's how this rotates around. I and see. On. Um, and then this is CNC. <laughs> What's up, Brian? <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with my boy, Wesley. Thank you, sir. Okay, Wesley, so I think the people want to know, what are the things that they teach you in your senior year in design? I feel like senior year has been like a bit of an autopilot semester so far. They expect us to know like a lot of things, and I feel like we've been getting the assignment laid down on the table, and we just do it. Mm -hmm. I have been learning from our teachers as much as I've been learning from the students more than ever, you know? Mm -hmm. More than ever, I feel like a contract worker, you yeah. know? That's what it feels like. That's, I feel like that's where the semester is heading. Put your skills to practice, join the competitions, try to win them. Yeah. Get real world experience in a yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now more than ever, I feel like a national designer. Gotcha. You know? So it's, it's cool. I only have two classes. Okay, so just two classes senior year, four projects each class. Yeah. Okay. At this point, they've kind of taught you essentially everything that you need to know. Yeah. As far as like technical skills, you know, yeah. like how to render, how to Photoshop, sure, now I mean, it's about like you putting it to the test in yeah. a way, you know? So what's, what's, what I've gotten from like this, this year, I know like my worth as a designer, mm -hmm. I totally know what I'm capable of doing, mm -hmm. you know? Like if anyone's asking that, that they need this person to do this job, uh -huh. I know if I can do it or if I can't. The junior year I would like say, oh I can do that, Yeah. not knowing the skills that I needed, uh -huh. you know? I totally know like where I need to be and who I can be as a designer. Do you have a lot of similarities between what you do in school versus what you do actually at work? Like I feel like at work, it's more so the combination of like my years here. Mm -hmm. This year, I'm not really doing what I've been doing at work, you know? What you learned in school helps you at work? It does. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't feel as like adequate for the job uh -huh. if I didn't like learn all things I learned. Are there things that you have to do at work where they haven't taught you at school? The way we do presentations here mm -hmm. is way different than we do it at work. Mm -hmm. at, like here, we're standing up, you know, everyone's yeah. looking at us, you know, but at work... You're like giving a TED talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> You're like, look at this amazing thing that I've made. <laughs> yeah, but at work, it's so casual. Yeah. You know, everyone's like chiming in, yeah. you know, like we're all sitting down. Yeah, you essentially just make whatever. You show it to the person that approves it, and they like it, and they just say, okay. Yeah. And that's about it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I wish, like, like school had a lot more, um, I don't know, just, like, closely reference things we do in work a bit more. At least presentation-wise. Because uh, they don't need to, because the fact that we stand up, and we're talking to everybody, it's quiet, you yeah. know, it's like... Do we really need all that? Yeah. Especially if work's not going to be that way. Cool, dude. Thanks a lot, man. For sure, dude. Okay, so there's a raffle that's gonna go that's gonna go on, and I hope I win something. Out of your busy days to come and help us out and give us. Brian, 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 Brian. Going home from the show now. I didn't win any raffle prizes. But I did take home some pizza, so that's okay. What was really cool is that I ran into one of the uh, head professors for industrial design here at Cal State Long Beach, and I've always told them that I've had an interest in teaching, obviously, having this YouTube channel, you guys following me. But I always wanted to try an actual like classroom and be in there and actually teaching real students and seeing how they progress, you know, meeting them every single week. And so uh, he actually walked through the actual official process of me actually going about doing it so you know submitting an official letter and recommendations and stuff like that so that's kind of cool you know we'll see how where things go and keep you guys updated but anyways i uh, hope you guys enjoyed definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me and also leave a comment down below if there's anything else you like me to talk about so anyways guys have a good night i'll catch you in the next video peace